Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to review HubSpot CRM. The first thing I'm going to review is pricing plan and then I'm going to show you the main features like how you can add contacts, how the flow is working and if it's actually easy to use HubSpot CRM and what are some advantages and disadvantages I personally see. So without further ado, let's start. When you would come here to HubSpot uh, pricing plan, you can see that you can get it for free. You got also free sales tools, service tools, and marketing tools. But in free CRM, you got contact management, contact website activity, companies, deals, store track manage and report on the deals. Your sales team is working, tasks and activities, company insight, Gmail and Outlook integration. You got also app marketable integrations, custom support form fields, prospects, ticketing. So you can actually see that you get everything covered here on a free version ad management, conversation, conversation inbox, reporting dashboard, email tracking and notifications, email templates, canned snippets, documents, calling, meeting scheduling, messenger integration and custom properties. But when you would come here to the CRM sales uh, pricing plan, you would see that you can get it monthly or you can uh, pay annually. And the first version is okay. -ish. You get all the free tools, plus to it, you got deal pipeline, simple automation, custom properties, quotes, calling, meeting, scheduling, live chat, goals and reporting dashboard. So if you need a pipeline or simple automation, the starter version is really great for you. But what you see is professional is quite expensive. It's 460 euro a month and sales analytics, themes, deal stage task and lead rotation automation. And you see that this is quite expensive. So I would actually like choose uh, the professional version only if you're generating a lot of revenue and only if you actually really need it. That's same with the marketing or whatever you would choose. You see the professional here, 800 euro. The starter version is great, starts at two paid users. Now, when you come here to the main features and how you actually work with CRM, it's really intuitive and easy software. But yes, it got a little bit higher learning curve. Uh, the pricing plan are okay, but the professional version is quite expensive. So that's my summary of the pricing plan. And I really like that they offer you the free CRM tool that you can actually use and play around it. And I believe that even using just the HubSpot CRM free tool is enough that you don't have to actually upgrade. So you would come here to the contacts and you can go to the top right and create a new contact. You would add a first name here. And you can simply add job title, phone number, life cycle stage, lead status. When you would do it, you would have the contact right here. Uh, you can see all contacts, your contacts. Then you would see unassigned. You can also click add view and you can add, create a new view that from contacts that you can be like, okay, it's contacts that are not uh, good anymore or upcoming maybe leads. How would you would describe that some on you? And now you can preview the contact on the right side. So you would see the first name, last name, email, phone number, contact owner, last contacted life, life cycle stage that you can change from subscriber, marketing qualified lead, opportunity customer and company, deals, tickets, attachments and list memberships. Even when you would like click on your contact, look how complex it is. You can add a note to it create an email, you can call, make a phone call directly from HubSpot CRM. You can create a task for this contact, but what do you need to actually do? Or you can schedule a meeting right here. You're going to see activity. You're going to see also notes here that I can add. This is a note, save note, and I'm going to see it right here. I can also create an email, see the call here, and I got to see the local call, tasks and meetings. So as you can see, it's really good, really complex and everything you can do with the contacts. Then when you would go to the companies, same thing, you can create a company. It's really similar to the contact. And then you're going to see activity feed here. Want to start seeing some real activity, then track the emails. And yeah, and then you're going to see the conversations here. They can like inbox. And let's say that you would have a conversation and you would on click funnels or uh, somewhere on like Facebook Messenger. You're going to see it here. Then in marketing, you can simply uh, create a landing page or you can send emails. 
So that's really great. And you're going to see the draft here on new email. And then you're going to see also the sales of the deals. And this is something that I really like is that you can actually make deals on the top right, create a deal. Let's say deal name. Mm, quote delivery deal. We can go with the sales pipeline deal stage. It's going to be presentation scheduled or contract sent. Or let's say that decision maker brought in a month can be one million dollars. Then close date can be 28th of February. You can change that deal owner deal tab. That's going to be like new business. And right here you can see the company. And you can add like, OK, this is going to be HubSpot and contact. You can simply add the contact here. OK, and then add a light item. If you're going to have the product library, it can be like of what item it is actually. And I'm going to create. And voila, we see it here. Food delivery deal. Again, I can add a note to it. I can create an email. I see the deal activity and the same thing with the contacts. You can add the notes, emails, calls, tasks. And right here, look at these deals. Wonderful, easy as it is. Uh, you have board actions. You can sort it out. You can edit the stages. You can see it also as a list. Or as a Kanban board. And then you're going to see all pipelines, sales pipelines, and you can simply again add a new view of your deals that you're going to do. And as you can see, this is like really great. You can change by deal owner, by create date, last activity date, a month. Then you're going to see also filters here and service. So you can click tickets. And you're going to see the tickets. Keep track of issues with your customer. You can solve it right here. Combine with the CRM and everything. The one thing I really like that you can use HubSpot as a, how would I call it, like complex system. So you can combine everything with everything. This is really great if you want to use the email, that you want to also use the CRM and you want to do the tickets. Maybe you can use the conversation too in your free account and you got everything at one place. So this is amazing. Then you're going to see reports and you're going to see the dashboard here. And you can create your own dashboard. And this is pretty much it. They are both really great tools uh, that you can use. I mean, with also with the CRM and with the marketing. I recommend choosing the HubSpot, testing down the free version. You will have a link down below in the description. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide some guidance. And yeah, let me down below in the comments. What do you think about HubSpot? If you think that it's good or no, I'm really happy to hear it. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.